Keenan. Thompson. Yes, ma'am. You mentioned to me before the camera started rolling that you don't like being called a celebrity. And I find that interesting because most people who go into public life do so with a hunger that can't be quelled by anything else than being a celebrity. That word takes away from the human part of me. You know what I mean? Like I am a human being at, you know, at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day all day actually. But it's easy to say that when you are a celebrity. It's, I mean, I don't know. For no me as a person, labeling. right. So I guess I just want to kind of be me because it gives people this like pre-notion of how you're going to be before they even meet you. People associate celebrity with like not doing anything. Correct. Which now here's the real deal. Being a celebrity is what? Being a celebrity nowadays, it's, it's not much to it. It doesn't seem like it's just like all about taking enough pictures and having enough numbers behind your pictures. It I seems know. like. I know. Like being a professional, I would love to be called that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow, you come Norma's got a real thing for you. Come on, come on. We're learning about her today. She's a little sweetheart. Wow, you guys are really... I like dogs. Oh my gosh, she just looked at me like, yeah, and? Okay, well, moving on. Yeah. We're supposed to be talking about No Kid Hungry. No Kid Hungry is an organization that's partnering with thousands of restaurants where people can kind of go to the restaurant and make a donation and then get something back from the restaurant, like a coupon or something like that. You can go to one of the participating restaurants, thousands of them. It's on the website, nokidhungry.org forward slash dine out. You can make a donation there. One dollar can get a kid 10 meals. And last year alone, No Kid Hungry provided like 90 million meals for kids. They're making like real progress, but it takes a village. It takes a village. It takes a nation. So what would you say has been the hunger that you've battled in your life? The hunger for financial success, the hunger for love, the hunger for... Yeah, I mean, I definitely had a hunger for, like, you know, wanting success in life. Like, like I said, I grew up in College Park, and it was very humble. We had our own house, but it wasn't like a mansion or anything. So what did you see that made you think, I want to have a lot of money? I went to private school, and I saw how other people were living basically, you know what I mean? And, you know, it was a very big difference between me getting ready for the dance and other people getting ready for the dance. What, what did I'm it saying? look like in your house getting ready for the dance? Uh, I was going through my mom's closet, actually, looking for, looking oh. for hammer pants. <laughs> because, like, for some reason, all my buddies agreed that we were gonna dress like boys to men slash MC Hammer. And that started your love affair with dressing like a woman. It may have, you know, sparked an interest back then. No, I'm just kidding. You've obviously made such a splash on Saturday Night Live. You've been on for 14 seasons. Yeah. 14 seasons. Yeah. Mazel tov. Thank you very much. To what do you attribute your staying power? Laying low, doing a job. Every single show, you're still going to have, like, those nervous type feelings, you know, just because it's a live thing. It's a new audience. It's a bunch of strangers. It's just an always new experience so 14 years one year it's kind of always been the same like we rehearse starting on thursday we write tuesday and wednesday and read it on wednesday or whatever and saturday we do it three times because that's all the time we have to get it done before 11 30 you know and the other part of that pattern is like the stress of like oh it's saturday morning oh it's saturday afternoon oh it's saturday night it's saturday night live And then on Sunday morning, is there a huge yeah, deflation? It's unbelievable. It's like so much weight lifted off your chest. Oh, so it's relief, but not sadness. Oh, yeah, it's done. Well, the sadness comes when you start reading about the show. <laughs> Listen, I feel like we have so much more to talk about. We but do. I, I'm getting to this and to this, so we're going to wrap it up for now, but promise me you'll come back. I would love it. Yeah? I would love but, to. But promise. I promise. I promise to you and your viewing audience that I will be back. All right. And Within, Norma's gonna want a date, so just. Yeah. yeah. We take you to the park or something.